So hey guys, I thought I'd take you along in our sweet corn adventure here. We're just wrapping things up for the year. For the last couple weeks, been working on uh, canning, freezing a lot of this corn, been eating a lot off the cob. Uh, it's been a pretty decent year. It's not, it definitely has not been our best. We really haven't had the heat here this year, so I think that's caused a little bit of trouble. Uh, we had a few issues in a couple parts of our corn this year with uh, pollination, and I think some of that just some of the corn just got too bunched together. So we tried a couple things a little bit different this year, and unfortunately, we won't find out how those things turned out until about a month from now. Um, first thing we tried, we tried a different variety of sweet corn this year. We did two varieties total, but we tried this one hybrid variety from Johnny Seed Company. It's supposed to be really good for canon. Um, just doesn't, it's not supposed to get as starchy and stuff. So we'll really find out our thoughts on that and, um, see what that's like in about a month from now. We're not eating any grains or, uh, dairy products right now because we're, we just kicked off at the beginning of the month, like a whole 30 thing where you remove a lot of items from your diet and then you slowly start introducing them back in. So at the end of this month, we'll be able to start trying out some of this stuff, which I'm really excited to, to see what all this summer's work has, um, turned out I guess let's see what else did we try this year um the other thing when we started canning this year um what we tried to do and we definitely had some room for improvement is we wanted to pick the corn right off the stock chuck it and then right into the boiling water and get it blanched uh, but we would process so much of it today that it was very hard to do that it was almost like you had to do it in batches or that seemed to be the case we ended up just chucking a whole bunch of it like several wagons and wheelbarrows full then we went through several cycles of, of getting stuff blanched and then uh finally got inside and starting to get processed so it didn't go as smooth as i had hoped or we didn't get it as flawlessly i guess there's definitely um a little bit of a workflow thing to figure out for next year um, so we'll find out, I guess, when we start trying this corn, if that does help reduce the starchiness of uh, canned corn. Um, let's see. And the other thing is is how we put the where the corn was to bed in the garden this year. A lot of times in the past, what I would do is uh, just run it through our chipper and kind of just mulch it up, throw it back in the garden. Last year, I threw it on top of where our Back to Eden part of our garden is uh, just to kind of get some of the greens and stuff on there. So this year, I decided to take a real lazy approach out there. I basically went out there with a machete blade um, sort of thing uh, with a little bit of a hook on it. And I just went and started whacking at the corn stalks after we had harvested the corn off of there and just dropped them and just left them on the ground. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to end up playing out. Um, I'm hoping it's going to put a lot of organic material back into the soil. But the real question is, is it going to break down in time? Uh, and will it have any effect on our soil next year? Uh, more so if it hasn't broken down all the way and we have to, the soil ends up having to use a bunch of nitrogen to break that down. Um, I'm not quite sure, but a little bit of an easier uh, closing things up type of approach. I'm just curious if there's going to be any negative or positive effects that come along with that. So, um, yeah, now we just got a handful of things left here. We got our um, sweet corn left, or our, our sweet corn, our popcorn still to harvest. We got sweet potatoes. Uh, we still got some broccoli out there. I'm hoping we can get some of that stuff past the, the frost here. Um, we'll see. There's a person I work with, and she swears by it. She always plants her broccoli really late in the season, and uh, and then it, it kind of goes through its frost and actually changes like the flavor profile of the broccoli. It kind of gives it more of a sweet flavor. And we didn't really um, plant a lot of it late enough, I don't think, but I'm kind of hoping that they don't start bolting. It's been a pretty cool year, but I'm hoping we can kind of get past that frost period and just see if we notice any difference as well. So um, what else? We got a lot of tomatoes still left, but we just haven't had the heat this year. It's been it's been a pretty mild summer. We got a lot of green tomatoes out there. So we, if we have to, we'll start processing those in some way. Um, but really hoping to get down to start making a lot of salsas and pasta sauces and stuff. So, yeah, I think that's it. It's been a been a long day here. Um, so, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.